Pike chooses uh, an away team for for an assault mm-hmm. for assault on the drill. Yep. And he chooses Engineer Olsen, he chooses Helmsman, Sulu, and uh whatever whatever job job um whatever. Kirk has. But <laughs> not supposed why? to be here. Yeah. I need officers who've been trained in advanced hand to hand combat. I have training, sir. Come with me. Kirk, you too, you're not supposed to be here anyway. So I get Sulu, because he's says I have advanced hand in combat, which and, mm-hmm. and which which Pike requests. He requests officers with advanced hand to hand training. So Pike is expecting there to be fights. But the only time Pike has ever seen Kirk fight is Kirk losing. Like getting getting beat up, getting messed up. So why why does Pike choose Kirk? He's he's only seen him lose. So he says he chooses Kirk because he's not supposed to be here anyway, which implies expendability, which is weird. Um I mean, but then somehow, go ahead. It's got a point because if you want to keep all your officers positioned at their stations, so that way the ship can mm-hmm. operate. And as of now, Kirk has no job. So it's, you know, if, if he's there on the ship or he's not on the ship, the ship functions just the same. It is kind of a sink or swim situation because Pike is trying to pull Kirk up through the ranks quickly so that Pike, uh, Kirk's personality can be part of the leadership of Starfleet. But if he puts them on this super risky away mission, it's like sink or swim, buddy. If you oh, die, gosh. well, <laughs> I got ten other cadets in the in waiting who are just like you. Interesting. So maybe you're saying Pike's command strategy is to send people on dangerous <laughs> away missions, and then the ones that survive have this like glory story, and they have lives of the ranks. Mm. Actually, okay, not not joke. It's kind of true, right? You send right. you send lieutenants on tasks to like go capture this thing. And then if they succeed, then they will climb up the ranks. But you're not you're not going to send an admiral to go do that. Like, no, 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 you're precious. You do command stuff. Stay mm-hmm. home or not home. stay at base. Right. And if since they can get through the difficult mission, you almost are guaranteed that they got the right stuff. Right. Some and people would die. Some people won't make it. They may have been made good commanders, but the people who made it probably have the right stuff. That's right. Okay. So, so this is this is Pike's master strategy of how he commands. Mm-hmm. Okay, but why does he send? Okay, why does he pull Sulu though? Sulu is part of the helmsman team. Now they're going to be down a rotation. That's right. Because if Sulu is yeah, if Sulu is injured, then there's there's got to be other pilots, right? Because Sulu can't be awake all the time, right? Right. So, but if he if there's say there's three, so that way each person gets an eight hour shift, then mm-hmm. if Sulu gets injured, can't pilot or dies, and therefore can't pilot, then the yep. other two people have to take twelve hour shifts. Like who knows what the situation's gonna be after this. So really you wanna keep your helmsman around so that they can fly the ship away if you need to. Right, so that doesn't seem to make sense. And then engineer Olsen, I don't know, he's an engineer. He's gotta be important yeah. for engineering in some engineering. sense. <laughs> he's just like an angry guy. He's like an angry, he's like ready to go kill people. Right. I mean, maybe he's got in the wrong, the wrong job. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, he's like, he signed up for Starfleet to do hand-to-hand combat, but like, you're pretty good at math. Like, Mm. an engineer dang it <laughs> I wanna go... wait, wait wait but they have security teams shouldn't the security guys go in this type of thing this type of mission it just doesn't seem to be how starfleet operates they send people from the bridge crew and other places <laughs> on away teams they don't seem to they don't have, seem to have specialized drop teams or away teams or exploration teams who are trained and honed in they're, they send the bridge crew i don't know why but that's how they operate so the most important thing you can do for your Starfleet career is get on the bridge. Do it. Do it. Get on the get bridge on the somehow. Bridge. Get on the bridge. Yeah, chosen for all the cool missions. Don't be under decks. Don't be below decks. Low, low, lower decks, right? That's for that one cartoon show. <laughs> That's right. Dang it. That's right. The lower <laughs> decks guys get passed over all the time. Get on, over get on time. deck. Get on the bridge. Get on the bridge. Yeah. Why, why aren't the security guys? That... Okay, but think. imagine the Star Trek universe where they did have drop troopers. Like we're like, we're a science, we're an exploration, we want everyone in the Federation, but we also have orbital drop shock troopers. ODST, like, why do you yeah. need that? Why do you need that Starfleet? Like, what are you, what are you, what are you, what are you doing when okay, you need to drop troopers down? But they do have dedicated security teams. They have security people. Now they may not be training for dropping like this, right. but they certainly train boarding and combat. Gosh. Right? What else could they okay. be doing? So, so I think we're drawing a line between defense and assault. Like it's okay for Starfleet to have defense security because we don't want mm-hmm. people to board your ship, but you don't want 
but it, it's a bad look to have assault teams that are like designed for aggression. But that being said, like sometimes if I would imagine that if you're if you have security people that are trained in defending your ship, they are also cross trained in assaulting a ship, right? That's right. In fact, sometimes the best defense is an offense. I mean, that's a ridiculous saying sometimes, but, no, but it's right. It's I think right. it's true. Like if you know the only way to stop an attack is to attack first. That's a valid strategy. Or heck, heck, if you're if your enemy ships, say like Klingon ships, they have they have these incredible weapons and zero defense. Like, do you just stay there and just take the hit in your shields? You're like, hey, uh, we're gonna send a single photon torpedo and take you out. Like right. sometimes the offense is the right defense. Right. So, but they don't have dedicated teams, or they do kind of have a dedicated team, but they don't send security people on these missions most well, of the time the security people aren't on the bridge <laughs> i mean there's like there's one guy there's one the, the head of security is on the bridge most of the time you see oh, who's the head of security right. on the enterprise here it's not even we don't even know because the bridge them. crew is uhura for communications yeah yeah then we've got sulu helmsman Helm. pike captain kirk uh -huh. who knows what first officer kirk maybe is junior captain yeah he's gonna get there Spock and is science. Spock is science. Chekhov is Engineering. Helmsman. Helmsman two. Helmsman -y. comms. Internal internal comms. Something like that. But I I don't think we're in, there's a bunch of other people on the bridge, but we don't know who the security officer is. Did the original series have a security officer? So so T TNG is is Worf. Worf second, but first before that it was uh, Tasha it Yar. Was Tasha Yar. Thank you. Yeah. And but then, there's, they were dedicated security. They got they were at that elevated station, right? And there's a dedicated team for security. It, Voyager was Tuvok. Mm -hmm. So I guess does did the original series have security? I don't know because I don't know. I don't remember. I'm hmm. gonna watch. I don't know. Okay, go back and watch. Tell us in the comments. I don't. I don't yeah. remember. 